Are you getting lots of questions from your customers related to COVID-19? In this video, I will walk through the steps to help you build and implement a rapid response virtual agent. As the world responds to the COVID-19 crisis, providing your customers with accurate, timely information is crucial to keeping people safe and informed. You can use the template in this tutorial to set up a custom rapid response voice and chat virtual agent that integrates directly into your web, phone, social, and message channels. You can launch it in 23 different languages, and it's available for any organization, including healthcare and public services, government agencies, and nonprofits, as well as other industries that are severely impacted, including travel, financial services, and retail. Let's take a look at how you can get started using the template. Your first step is to download the Dialogflow COVID-19 agent template from GitHub link in the description. To create the agent, navigate to dialogflow.cloud.google.com, log in and click Create New Agent. Give your agent a name and then click Create. Now click on the gear icon on the right-hand side of the new agent. Under Export and Import, select Import from Zip and drop the zip file that you just downloaded from GitHub. Now you're ready to import and set up the backend for your agent. And for that, you deploy Fulfillment. Go back to the GitHub and download the Dialogflow COVID-19 Fulfillment. Back in the Dialogflow console, click Fulfillment in the left sidebar and toggle the switch to enable the inline editor. You'll be asked to enable a billing account in Google Cloud Console. When you're ready, navigate to Cloud Functions from the left panel. Under Source Code, select the zip upload and upload the zip file that you got from GitHub. Now you should see three intents, closure, confirmed cases, and deaths that requires setting up Google Maps API and BigQuery API for metrics. Let's enable the BigQuery API first. Select the APIs and services from the left panel, then click on Enable APIs and Services. Search for BigQuery API and enable it. For the Maps API, you will need to create credentials. To do that, click on Credentials, Create Credentials, and then API Key. Make sure to restrict the key to Cloud Functions API only. Now, back in our Cloud Function, we need to set this API key as an environment variable. For that, edit the Cloud Function. Click on the Environment Variables and add the variable. The name should be Google underscore Maps underscore API underscore key. And then the value should be the API key you just created. And then just deploy. Now you're ready to test. The easiest way to do that is to test in Dialogflow Simulator. Let's try an example. Is it still safe to receive packages? The response should indicate that you set up your agent correctly. If you plan on enabling the bot on your website, go to the integration section on the left panel and enable Dialogflow Messenger. Copy this code snippet and add it to your website. You can also use the Try It Now button to test it out. Let's say I select Start Screening. The agent starts asking me for specific symptoms and directs me based on my answers. If you want to enable this experience via telephone, go to the Integrations, select Dialogflow Phone Gateway and a phone number. Place a call to the number and test it out. If you want to interact with the Dialogflow API, you will need to create a service account and download the private key. Here's how you would do that. Go to the IAM and Admin on the left panel and select Service Accounts. Create a new service account. Give your new account a name. The role would be Project Owner and then click Create. Create Key will let you download the JSON key on your computer. You will use this file in your environment, so save it. Open the terminal on your local machine or any other interface where you can run a curl command. Execute export Google application credentials 
which would be equal to the location of your key file in quotations. So make sure you provide the right location. To test, we will need a user request. Let's say the user asks, how can I get tested? We put that in a file called request.json. And next, we will send this request to Dialogflow Detect Intent API using the call command with post request option authorization header that gets the token value via gcloud auth command and then the data gets passed as request.json and there you have a response in json format all that's left is to parse it out and do what you need to do with it in your custom application curl is just an example you can interact with the dialogflow api using other language integrations like python java etc refer to the documentation linked below for language of your choice and that's it we hope you and your customers will find the rapid response virtual agent helpful during this unprecedented time